Marcus. Call in Marcus. Marcus, all right, give him a big hand. Yeah. Sharks' teeth, the tusks of a boar, greets the captain at his door. Wherefore, asks his Spanish grace, slaving strands of Italian lace, jingling emblems of his race, wherefore is the golden place? The naked monarch, seated there, a shellfish blanket for his chair, hemp and leaves tied in his hair. Points to the sun and answers, There! The gilded cross is there thus laid upon the tree under the shade. The captain is honored things, and in his mind a choice is made. A motley crew of merry men, Daniels and the lions, then roughnecked sailors, one and all, seated in the palm tree hall, a wooden fort wished to install. The brazen king is seated near, smells the sound of their foreign fear, whispering war cries in his ear. The queen's own captain, gun in hand, longs to conquer this fair land. The banner waiting on the stand wants to show how strong we stand. A lonely gull on the wind does fly. The gun is aimed into the sky. A frightful roar tears through the land. The bird falls dead upon the sand. Thus the strength of the captain's hand. The tribe's wooden spears by the tree do lay, protecting honor on a dangerous day. But on the beach the children play. Submission is the safest way. Wooden ships and iron men landed on the shore again. Building castles, temples, mines, seeking for the rock that shines, planting sweating fields of cane, hoping more of this to gain. And for this, we've grown up here, riding trains through the frontier, killing all that was before, living past the eastern shore, a brave new world here to explore. A lonely gull spreads wide its wings and to the eastern wind it sings songs of horror, fear and shock. Its talons cling the ancient rock. Songs of hope and harmony between the beach and the Eastern Sea. Tennessee, and uh, there were a bunch of uh, 
There's like an open mic there. There's like a, a uh, what do they call it? Like a, uh, well, there were like three a rally. Members. No, not a rally. It's like three members. It was like the government was there. Like three members of the Department of Energy. The people who were supposed to like, the people who control like where the energy comes from. Like, like these, the energy for these things. So it's four. And like a, more and more of that is going to come from atomic energy. Um, but the same people who control the atomic energy also build the bombs and they want to build more. And so there were a bunch of like hippie uh, radical characters there and uh, a bunch of uh, overweight, uh, beer bellied, uh, redneck sort of uh, um, nuclear power plant and nuclear weapons factory employees. And uh, we were sitting there in an audience like, it's about the size of Santa's Theater. And uh, these three, one, two, three government people sitting there like, listening. Like, they had an open mic. You just sign up and go to the mic. So uh, I read this poem. It's called um, The Power That I Am. Living in a world of fantasy, hoping only to be free of this nagging voice within that asks me of this land I'm in, how on this island we are here, we still live in a world of fear. The missiles poised in empty skies, the guns invisible to our eyes, and our eyes are closed, yet old glory waves and the flag is knit by we, the slaves. Thank you.